Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, the first card is ostentation. So you've got Saturn there sitting in Taurus and this is a um, sign of being restricted financially. So there's some kind of limitation that is happening around your finances at this particular moment. Uh, you know, you're not able to move forward because there's some kind of financial uh, burden or restriction that is happening on. So you are watching your finances quite carefully and there's a bit of, uh, you know, problems with money there. You've got Mercury in Aquarius over here. So coming up with some brilliant ideas on how to solve your problems. So you might be working in some on some kind of project uh, that's allowing a lot of creativity, originality to come in, and you're getting some great insights, some bright ideas coming in for you. And there's a lot of communication going on as well. So you're, you know, some good news coming in, or you know, you're getting some good ideas that you're, um, you know, it's going to change things, maybe change the world. Uh, so you've got exaltation of here, so um, moon in um, Taurus, which is a really good card to have, uh, or good, um, you know, uh, thing to have, because it's it's talking about abundance. The moon is really in its best spot sitting in Taurus, because it generally brings in the money. So it looks like finances is, have come in, but there's some kind of restriction happening. So you might have some expense going on, uh, you know, that is draining your finances. But definitely money has been coming in or will be coming in because there's that abundance coming in as well with that moon in Taurus. Now, in the past, you've got the optimism card. So whatever situation you were in, uh, there may have been a lot of travel because of the optimism, the moon sitting in Sagittarius. So, And you've got this person on these double horses over here. So you might have been doing a lot of travel with regards to your work, um, you know, and uh, a lot of expansion. The moon is about short trips. Uh, you know, Sagittarius is about traveling the world. So you could have been doing a lot of um, you know, local travel and international travel coming in over there with that optimism card um, and being very positive and learning a lot, meeting a lot of people as well. You've got the discovery card, so, um, you know, Sag Sagittarius uh, ruling this card, but also you've got Mercury over here. Now, you've got two Sagittarius cards, so this looks like there may have been a lot of uh, international communication or international travel. You've been learning a lot as well. The moon is also about study and learning, and, you know, Mercury is also about study and learning. So whatever encounters you've been having with, uh, you know, the, 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 the globe or having with the... the the whole um, the world, really, because you can, you've got the world over there, it has brought in a lot of learning, and you've been learning a lot of new things, and it seems like you're you're uh, applying it, and this is how these original ideas are coming in. So you've been seeing the world, learning a lot, and this is now how you're able to come up with these brand new ideas. Now, going to the future, you've got uh, Mars sitting in... Um, uh, Capricorn here. So this is about dealing with authority figures, but also about being able to focus all your attention and being an authority figure. So this is coming into the future where it looks like, you know, power is coming back and you're going to be in control of some kind of situation as well. And this could be that you're taking authority or taking leadership uh, within the role that you are uh, in charge of. So this is about, you know, a lot of power in your hand, but you are, you know, you are very controlled. It's a very controlled power, especially with that Mars. It's talking about, you know, being very powerful, but with Capricorn over there, it, it it's almost exalts it. It makes it better. You can focus your energy and you can take authority or take control of that situation and people will listen to you. There's a lot of appreciation going on over here. So you are spending some time focusing on yourself over here. You've got Leo there uh, and with the moon it's about, you know, working on your personal feelings uh, and feeling a lot more happier because, you know, the um, Leo is about the sun and you've got this moon bringing whatever, a new cycle coming in for you. You can see this cornic over here with a lot of abundance, a lot of fruits, uh, and you're feeling very happy. And there's some kind of good news that comes in for you that's going to make you extremely happy. Uh, you know, and it's going to be something that elevates you in your uh, status because you've got that Leo over there. And the moon usually talks about, you know, getting recognition for whatever you're doing. So whatever authority uh, you're taking, whatever control you're taking, it's going to be quite successful because it's going to bring some brand, you know, good news for you that's going to elevate your, your status in life, really. Uh, you know, make you more renowned, well known to people. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be using the TV set, a series tarot for this particular read. I have shuffled the deck and I have put it in the description box to so have a look. It's a really lovely deck. 
and it deals with all the television series that are out there. So it's quite unusual as well. Very modern. Lovely. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so you've got the fool. So you're beginning a brand new cycle, beginning something absolutely different. You're going to be taking a risk and you're going for it. It seems like, you know, you have nothing to lose. It's, you know, you've got everything sorted. And it looks like there might be some travel as well because you can see this man's, you know, traveling with this little stick. All his stuff is packed in there and he's ready to take that plunge. He's ready to take that jump, that leap of faith. Uh, he's going by his gut feeling, his intuition. But, you know, this is a robotic dog. So very, very, uh, you know, something, maybe you're doing something scientific that you're taking a risk in. But it's also, you know, you've thought about it. This is not illogical that you're doing. You haven't used, uh, you know, you, your emotions are not flying all over the place. You're really thinking straight and you're considering a lot of options and it is something brand new. Uh, you know, maybe you're going to be doing something innovative, uh, something that changes things around. So bringing a new twist, uh, you know, to the collective really, which is a really good thing. So um, let's see what's happening with you. You've got the uh, Hermit card over here and the Two of Swords. So the Hermit card is being very focused on your work and, you know, seeing uh, things for what it is, for what they are, being organized, being very critical, being very thorough as well. This man is looking for clues. So, you know, maybe you're investigating something as well, uh, investigating why things happened. Uh, but you're very focused on that work because the Hermit card is ruled by Virgo. And you seem to be working by yourself as well. So whatever you're doing, whatever brand new thing that you're starting is going to be working by yourself, but being very focused on that particular uh, job or, you know, being very organized, uh, being very analytical. Now, it seems like you were dealing with some kind of maybe legal situation over here. You've got these two women with the swords over here. So a decision needed to be made. You've got the uh, scales uh, of justice in the back over here. So you could have been dealing with some... Uh, breakdown of communication between you and somebody, a decision needed to be made. Maybe you were just stalling about making that decision because it's going to cause a lot of uh, disruption, maybe this uh, decision that you're making. Maybe you've even broke off, broken off communication with somebody, cut ties with them, and you're moving off in different directions. There may have been a lot of drama within that particular situation. You've got this woman wearing red. So something uh, has caused a lot of, um, you know, um, upheaval in your life this particular decision and it could have uh, been a legal decision as well maybe you're waiting for the, uh, this legal decision to come in you've got the two of rods over here in the past uh, year or so so this is about making a decision about even work so whether to stay in that old job or whether to move on and you want to take on a new project it seems like that you've been thinking about this for a long time now but it looks like you're making that uh, taking that risk making that choice so you are going to be making this choice about this particular project. So you're leaving something behind, leaving an old job maybe, and moving on into something better. This man is an astronaut, so it looks like maybe whatever job you're going to be doing, uh, you know, will involve some kind of travel, air travel. And there's this new offer that comes in over here. You can see the Six of Cups over here. You can see an offer being made. Now, this particular job seems to be, um, you know, it could be in the medical field. There's a hospital in the back over there. But uh, it seems like, you know, you've got that Four of Cups lined up over here. So you are dissatisfied with whatever you've been doing with the Four of Cups. It's about dissatisfaction and discontentment and not being very happy with where you are at. But this new offer comes in with the Six of Cups. And it might be from somebody that you've worked with in the past or a company that you've uh, worked with in the past. It could also be going back to even further study. You know, you maybe have not completed something in the past and you're going back to, to do it. And it's going to, uh, you know, mean that you're going to have to focus a lot on it. There's a lot of analysis, sign. There's a lot of science involved in this new job uh, offer that has come in over here. It's almost like a rescue job because you've got the emergency services over here. So it's almost like, you know, somebody's come to take you out of a difficult situation and, uh, you know, has given you that opportunity. And now you want to walk away from that past that you have uh, been facing. So you've got that Eight of Cups starting a brand new cycle there with that new moon, but leaving behind something that you worked in a long time and it's given you no satisfaction or no happiness. And you're now ready to leave that situation. You're ready to put it behind you and move forward. So uh, going to the future, you've got the King of Pentacles over here. So you, this particular job, this is uh, J.R. Ewing from Dallas. 
Um, so anyway, uh, this is about, uh, you know, getting a really good position. So this is about new money coming in. They were pretty rich oil barons. So, you know, it looks like there's a lot of money coming in for you here. And it's going to be a position of leadership and authority. So, uh, you know, this is well worth uh, accepting the offer that has come in. So maybe somebody from the past has come in and given you that offer. And it's going to be something, uh, you know, where you're very, very established and uh, making a lot of money as well. So what's happening with you? You've got the Seven of Pentacles over here. So you are waiting for some news about this uh, particular job. This is about, you know, having, uh, investing time and effort and energy into something and waiting for the investment to pay off over here. You've got all these pentacles sitting in the bush. And, you know, you're waiting for something to uh, ripen, to mature before you can pluck it. So it's going to be available for you, whatever finances, and it looks like, you know, a lot of money coming in as well. So whatever investment you're making, in the, even in this new job that you're going to be taking, it's going to be really good, and it's going to have a good payoff at the end. Now, um, you've got the uh, judgment card of here, so this is changing uh, you know, directions in life. You've got the crossover there as well. And you've got that emergency services going on over here. So this is like almost a, re uh, a rescue uh, kind of operation going on in a sense that maybe you were going, you know, uh, somebody has come to help you out and take you out of that um, situation. You're being called to make some kind of decision here. It's a judgment call. Uh, leaving the past behind, leaving old friends, old situations behind, moving on. And it looks like some kind of communication coming through or you need to make some kind of uh, uh, decision or you need to give somebody an answer as well. And you are starting a brand new uh, direction in life as well uh, that's going to take you, you know, to better places because this judgment card is really divinely guided. Uh, and once you make uh, the decision and move forward, it generally is a positive um, experience and there's usually a lot of success that comes with it. So there you are sitting and considering that new option. You're still looking at the three of cups, so looking at that old job that you had, but this new offer is coming in for you. It's uh, something that you're focusing a lot of, and you're a bit afraid, it seems, to even take that risk. But you're going to have to. It seems like with a full card, you're going to have to take that risk, and it's going to be, you know, leaving behind that old situation, moving on. Uh, so here you are sitting and considering. There might be some training or teaching involved with that new situation, but definitely that offer is coming in for you. So a lot of cards of offer. You've got that six of cups giving you that offer. You've got this four of cups over here. You've got this walking away with that eight of cups. And you've got that new beginnings with the full card over here. So brand new start, uh, you know, re-thinking uh, things. And, uh, you know, you're, you're not diving into it. You're thinking very carefully about it. Now, the new job that you're going to be doing or the new situation that you are is going to involve a lot of travel. You've got the birds going on over there in a little swirl over there. You're going to be leaving behind that old situation, starting something brand new and moving towards a better established uh, career, a lot of scope for advancement, and it's going to have a lot of travel and you're going to be working with a lot of people on the international front. That was mouthful, but that was that was what this card is saying, that you know, you're going to be collaborating with a lot of people. There's a lot of travel as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're going to be maybe heading this new project. You're leaving behind the past with the death card, so cutting off everything that is not serving you and moving on. So these changes are coming. It's big changes. Uh, everything is going to start moving pretty quickly for you. You Once you make the decision, everything starts moving. And it's a positive change. So it looks like you might, you know, this is the Emperor card taking control of that situation, and you've got that King of Pentacles over there. So both of these cards are about a leadership, rulership, organization, authority, uh, controlling your money, managing resources. So you might be doing a job where you manage resources as well with that King of Pentacles and the Emperor card. But it's definitely, you know, the Emperor card um, is ruled uh, by Aries and Scorpio. It's ruled by Mars, really. And, uh, you know, both of these are about taking authority, taking control, being in charge, being in charge of people as well and also controlling resources or finances as well. So you might be involved in some kind of job that uh, involves, uh, you know, uh, being in charge of finances. So you're cutting off ties. Whatever you're doing is going into the emperor energy. So you are taking control, taking authority, uh, and you're going to be doing a lot of, um, you know, travel as well. A new direction in life, something brand new coming in for you. Investment's going to be pay, paying off with the seven of pentacles over here. And, uh, you know, um, you now, um, you know, with the um, emperor card, it's also uh, ruled by uh, Archangel Michael. So you might be even, um, 
you know, uh, signing new contracts, new work contracts as well. So um, I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. And you've got the Hermit card over here, which is the second time it's appeared. It's appeared first in the spread. So spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. So you are going to be, you know, with this uh, Virgo card, showing that you're going to be taking sole responsibility. You're going to be the one, you're the specialist in this particular field, and uh, you're going to be taking a lot of responsibility and maybe working very independently of everybody else with the Virgo a Hermit card. Um, and, you know, spending a lot, there might be some study as well. You'll be, you might be doing a lot of research as well. But you're definitely an expert in the field that you're doing. You've got the Ten of Air, so the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change. Expect things to get better and recovery from an addi addiction. So, you know, this is the, uh, you know, the Ten of uh, Swords. So that situation is finished and done. The crisis is over. It's now time to move on and you'll be moving in to something new. So all those problems with all those swords that come in with the Ten of Swords or the Ten of Air are now finished and done with. There might have been a lot of deception and you might have been a lot, there might have been a lot of betrayal as well. There might have been a lot of legal situations or legal things that you had to deal with, but it's now finished and done with and you are now ready to move on and the difficult situation is over. And the card that follows it is the Two of Earth. So too much going on at once. I need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. So the Two of Earth is the Two of Pentacles. It's a decision that needs to be made. Also with the Two of Swords, a decision needs to be made as well about moving away from that uh, person that may have been really toxic for you. You know, this Two of Swords is also about a lot of anxiety that you're feeling uh, about making this decision. And the Two of Earth says that there could be, you know, uh, looking at your finances, but also two jobs coming in, uh, having to consider two work situations and needing to make a decision. And once you make a decision, you know, you've got that rainbow coming in, you've got a butterfly, so transformation happens, you're getting out of this difficult situation, finances will start settling down. But also a time where you'll be very, very busy and you'll be very, very focused on your work as well. So you do need to make, make a choice. There is a lot of money coming in. There's a job offer that comes in that looks like it's going to give you a position of authority. So this is also a really foc a, a big focus on money. Whatever these new decisions are, these new, you know, where you're leaving things behind, you're leaving behind old emotional situations and, uh, you know, taking on new projects and starting something brand new, following a different uh, route in life. And you're being caught to do that with that judgment card. The judgment card is 20, so it's definitely an ending uh, of a karmic cycle that you're going through and you're now going into a place. This could be a promotion, like I said, or a brand new job uh, coming in for you and you're starting afresh. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you and uh, good luck and thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye. Oh, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if these messages resonated. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.